Imagine creating a legacy so strong it stands like a fortress against taxes, legal battles, and economic storms. In today's deep dive, we're not just listing six different assets to leave behind. We're unlocking the secrets to smart estate planning. First, we'll explore why each of these six assets is a strategic choice, revealing how they safeguard your wealth from excessive taxation and potential mismanagement. Then, we'll delve into the nuances of each asset, from the immediate liquidity of cash to the long-term growth potential of real estate and the tax efficiency of Roth IRAs. We're also going to tackle the complexities of trusts and how they can be the ultimate tool in protecting your legacy. And finally, we'll wrap it up with actionable insights and tips to ensure that your estate plan is bulletproof, secure, and perfectly aligned with your legacy goals. Picture this. You've worked tirelessly, grinding for years, building a life full of assets, memories, and dreams. But here's the kicker. What happens to all that you've hustled for when you're no longer around? It's like a scene from a Greek tragedy. Without a solid estate plan, it's a wild, wild west for your hard-earned assets. And now we have to run. Your life's work could end up in the hands of greedy ex-spouses, caught in legal limbo, or devoured away by taxes. It's a nightmare scenario where your loved ones are left to untangle a messy web instead of cherishing the legacy you intended to leave behind. Let's zoom in on the first asset on our list, cash. Now, cash might seem like the simplest player in the game, but its simplicity is its superpower. Inheriting cash is like getting a universal key. It opens doors immediately, no waiting and no fuss. It's liquid, it's flexible, and guess what? The IRS doesn't see it as taxable income. That's right, cash slips right past the tax man. Imagine leaving behind a treasure chest, but instead of gold coins, it's filled with cash. Your heirs can use it instantly for anything, paying off debts, investing, or even fulfilling dreams you talked about at the dinner table. There's no need for them to wait for months, maybe years to get their hands on it. It's immediate, just like a shot of adrenaline. But here's the catch. While cash is king in terms of accessibility, it doesn't grow by itself. It's not like stocks or real estate that can balloon in value over time. It's a static player. This means if you're stashing large amounts of cash for your heirs, you might be missing out on potential growth that other assets can offer. However, for sheer ease and speed of transfer, cash is unbeatable. It's a straightforward, no-nonsense asset. Your heirs won't need to navigate complex legal mazes or wait for the slow wheels of the probate court to turn. They get immediate access, and in times of grief, that simplicity and immediacy are worth their weight in gold. Cash, in the world of estate planning, is the smooth operator. Easy, efficient, and hassle-free. Now let's shift our focus to the second asset, life insurance benefits. This is where strategy meets foresight. Life insurance, often overlooked, is a stealthy power player in estate planning. Think of it as a silent guardian, waiting in the wings to provide financial support to your loved ones when you're not there. And here's the beauty of life insurance benefits. They're tax-free. Yes, when your heirs receive that lump sum from your policy, the IRS doesn't lay a finger on it. It's like finding a treasure trove that the tax man can't touch. This non-taxable status makes life insurance an incredibly effective tool for transferring wealth. But it's not just about the tax benefits. Life insurance offers something even more valuable, peace of mind. In those turbulent times after a loved one's passing, financial worries can weigh heavily on a grieving family. Life insurance swoops in like a financial safety net, cushioning your heirs from immediate monetary concerns. They can use these funds to cover expenses, settle debts, or even invest for their future. Moreover, life insurance is versatile. You can tailor it to suit your family's needs and your financial situation. 
Whether it's term life, whole life, or universal life, each type has its unique advantages, allowing you to craft a policy that fits your estate plan like a glove. In the grand chessboard of estate planning, life insurance is a strategic move. It provides immediate financial relief, tax advantages, and the flexibility to adapt to your specific wishes. It's not just about leaving wealth, it's about leaving a legacy of care and foresight. Asset number three, the Roth IRA. This is where long-term planning really shines. The Roth IRA isn't just a retirement account. It's a powerful tool for securing your family's financial future even after you're gone. Here's the deal with a Roth IRA. The money you put in has already been taxed. So when your heirs inherit it, they don't have to pay a dime in income tax on those withdrawals. This feature makes the Roth IRA a heavyweight champion in the world of estate planning. It's like planting a tree whose fruits your family can enjoy tax-free for years to come. But the benefits don't stop there. With a Roth IRA, you're not just leaving money, you're leaving an investment that can continue to grow for up to 10 years after your death. The funds in a Roth IRA are invested in stocks, bonds, or other assets, giving them the potential to increase in value over time. This growth, mind you, is also tax-free. It's a double win. Your heirs get both the original investment and 10 years worth of growth, all without the taxman getting involved. Furthermore, Roth IRAs come with a unique flexibility. There are no required minimum distributions during the account holder's lifetime, meaning you can let the account grow for as long as you live, maximizing the benefit for your heirs. In essence, a Roth IRA is a multifaceted gem in estate planning. It's not just about leaving wealth. It's about leaving a legacy that grows and supports your loved ones in a tax-efficient way. With a Roth IRA, you're not just planning for retirement, you're strategizing for generations. Let's turn our attention to the fourth asset, non-qualified investments. This includes stocks, bonds, and mutual funds in taxable accounts. This asset is a bit like a skilled navigator, charting a course through the murky waters of taxation and growth potential. When you pass on non-qualified investments to your heirs, they receive a significant tax advantage known as a step-up in basis. Here's how it works. The value of these investments is reassessed at the time of your death. So if you bought stocks at $10,000 and they're now worth $50,000 when you pass away, your heir's basis in these stocks is $50,000. What does this mean? If they sell them, they only pay capital gains tax on the growth beyond your death, not the growth that occurred during your lifetime. It's like hitting a reset button on potential tax bills, giving your heirs a financial head start. This benefit of a step up in basis is especially crucial given the volatile nature of the stock market. Over time, well-chosen investments can grow significantly, and this tax treatment ensures that a large portion of that growth is preserved for your heirs. But remember, with great potential comes great responsibility. Non-qualified investments require thoughtful management. Your heirs will need to understand the markets or seek professional advice to make the most of these assets. In the grand scheme of estate planning, non-qualified investments are not just a transfer of wealth. They are a transfer of opportunity. They offer your heirs the chance to benefit from your financial acumen and market growth, all while minimizing the tax bite. This asset is a testament to your foresight giving your loved ones not just resources, but a launching pad for their own financial journeys. Moving on to the fifth asset, real estate. Here, we encounter a cornerstone in the landscape of estate planning. Real estate isn't just about land or buildings. It's a legacy in physical form, a tangible piece of your journey handed down to the next generation. One of the key advantages of bequeathing real estate is the potential for appreciation. Unlike most assets that might fluctuate or depreciate, 
real estate often grows in value over time. This appreciation isn't just theoretical, it's real wealth that can significantly impact your heir's financial stability. According to the Federal Reserve in 2023, real estate accounted for a staggering $44.5 trillion of family wealth in the U.S., underlining its importance in estate planning. But the real game changer with real estate comes at the time of transfer. Similar to non-qualified investments, real estate benefits from a step-up in basis. If you bought a property for $100,000 and it's worth $500,000 at your passing, your heir's basis in the property is the latter. This means if they sell it, they're liable for taxes only on the gain above $500,000. This step-up not only shields significant appreciation from taxes, but also simplifies the process for your heirs. However, real estate isn't just about the financials. It often holds sentimental value, carrying memories and emotions. It can be a family home, a cherished vacation spot, or even a source of ongoing income if rented out. In essence, real estate as an asset in estate planning is multifaceted. It's not just a piece of property, it's a piece of history, a potentially appreciating asset, and a means of providing both emotional and financial security to your heirs. It stands as a testament to your hard work and foresight, a tangible reminder of your legacy. And now, the granddaddy of them all, the sixth asset, the trust. This is where estate planning takes a strategic turn, blending control protection, and efficiency into one powerful package. Think of a trust as a bespoke suit, tailored to fit the unique needs and goals of your estate. When you place assets in a trust, you're doing more than just transferring wealth. You're creating a legal entity that offers a multitude of benefits. For starters, assets in a trust typically bypass the probate process. This means your heirs can access their inheritance without the lengthy, public, and often costly probate proceedings. It's like having a private path to wealth transfer, away from the public eye and bureaucratic red tape. Moreover, trusts offer unparalleled asset protection. Once placed in a trust, assets are shielded from creditors, lawsuits, and even personal issues like divorce. This protective barrier ensures that your assets are passed on as intended, undiluted by external challenges. According to a study by Wealth Council, including trusts is increasingly recognized as the premier estate planning strategy to implement for its role in protecting assets against unforeseen circumstances. But the true power of a trust lies in its flexibility. You can set specific terms for how and when your heirs receive their inheritance, ensuring that your wishes are carried out to the letter. Whether it's providing for a child's education, supporting a charitable cause, or staggered distributions over time, a trust allows you to dictate the exact terms of your legacy. Assets in a trust are not just about transferring wealth, they're about crafting a legacy with precision and care. This asset combines control, protection, and efficiency, ensuring that your estate is managed and distributed exactly as you envisioned. Remember, estate planning with these six key assets isn't just about distributing wealth. It's about thoughtfully securing your legacy, protecting your life's work from those who wish to separate you from it and ensuring that your loved ones are cared for exactly as you envision.